talking about anxiety today. Um, anxiety is something that I've certainly struggled with myself. A lot of people do. Um, and anxiety is that feeling, that overwhelming feeling of fear or worry or dread uh, that you can't run away from. It's like something really scary is chasing you, but you can't run away because it's in your head, it's in your heart. And um, if you don't have anxiety, maybe someone you love does. Um, certainly the world gives us a lot of reasons to be anxious, right? Now, um, my biggest thing is when I talk about my anxiety, people will eventually, it always goes to one of these passages like cast all your cares upon God or, or give it to God. And I think to myself, that sounds great. I would love to give my worries to God and I would love to have God just take it all away, but that doesn't seem to work because like, no, don't get me wrong. I've had some, I've seen a therapist and, and been on wonderful medicine and, and the God has done some amazing miracles, but, but why is it that God hasn't just taken away? If I've given it to God, then it should go away. But I think I have a very misunderstanding of, of what it means to give something to God. See, giving something to God isn't like a magic pill. It's a process. It's a journey and it's a relationship. This is what it says in the book of Psalms 46. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam. I got to tell you, there's nothing I've ever experienced that has moved mountains into the sea <laughs> or, or have, have been half as scary as some of the things that, that just talked about there. But here's what I want to highlight. It says, God is our refuge and strength and a very present help in trouble. Notice it doesn't say if trouble. It says in trouble. When, when we feel the feelings of fear or depression or doubt or sadness or anxiety, God says that, you know, he's here for us. It, it's not a matter of if it happens, it's when it happens. And it says that God is our refuge. Notice it doesn't say that he'll always take it all away. He'll make it all go away. It says he's our refuge when it happens. See, he offers us not always, you know, a complete immunity 
from pain or anxiety. He offers us refuge when it comes, day in and day out, anew. So I greet each morning saying, God, will you be my refuge today from anxiety? Will you bring my peace and my comfort? And we have to ask this every day. It's not a one-time thing. It's not a pill. It's a process and it's a relationship. Will you pray with me? God, be our refuge today. Whatever is burdening my friends' hearts and souls, may they find comfort in your arms. We love you and we ask for this in your name. Amen.